Let's talk about the U.S. Pointer Trial, a new study recently published in JAMA looking at the benefit of lifestyle changes for cognitive function. This trial made a big splash when it was presented at the Alzheimer's Association International Conference, and for good reason. Pointer was a large, multi-center, randomized clinical trial that found diet, exercise, and increasing social and intellectual stimulation can provide significant benefit for people at risk of dementia. Researchers enrolled more than 2,000 people at five locations across the U.S. They were randomized into two groups. One got structured help, and one followed a self-guided program. All the participants were cognitively asymptomatic, but at risk of cognitive decline and dementia. They were 60 to 79 years old, sedentary, had suboptimal diets, and at least two other risk factors. The structure group followed a rigorous program for two years, including 38 facilitated team meetings, 26 phone calls about diet, seven health coaching sessions, and four clinic visits. Every week, they did four sessions of aerobic exercise, two resistance training sessions, and two flexibility sessions. They did web-based cognitive training three times per week, and were encouraged to follow the MIND diet, a combination of the Mediterranean and DASH diets aimed at supporting brain health. It promotes eating things like legumes, green leafy vegetables, berries, nuts, and lean meats, while limiting red and processed meats, sweets, and saturated fats. They were also encouraged to participate in more social activities, like joining book clubs. Meanwhile, the self-guided group was given publicly available educational material encouraged to make lifestyle changes, and attended six team meetings along with clinic visits and assessments over the two years. Although both groups showed improved global cognitive function based on a number of cognitive tests, the structured group improved more. The structured group improved 0.243 standard deviations per year, and the self-guided group improved 0.213 standard deviations per year. Dr. Laura Baker, the study's first author, says the trial shows that with help, people can make lifestyle changes that improve their cognitive health. What you do with your body and how you care for your body can impact how you age cognitively. And the power of that is that it's accessible to everyone. We learned through Pointer that you can't do it alone. These people are asking people to change their life. I mean, people come into our study and they are sedentary. They're not eating a healthy diet. They're isolated. It's the structure and the support around those people that helps them make their own decisions about what to change and then actually do it. So the participants did all the work. Dr. Baker says the team is continuing to monitor the participants for another four years and conducting additional analysis on the data gathered in the study. Read the full study and editorial on JAMA.com.